and welcome to this tutorial. In this video, I'm showing you how to create a video playlist with the help of JetBlock plugin. The final result is going to look like this. And now let's go ahead to Elementor Editor and see how we can create it ourselves. The first step you'll need to take is to go to Elementor and in the Elements panel search for Video Playlist which is a part of a JetBlock plugin. So once you drop this widget onto a new section, you're going to see in the Contents tab these two tabs, Items and Settings. In the Items tab, you will see this little message. And the first thing you'll need to do is to go and get YouTube API key. You simply click on this link, and it takes you to Google Developers Console. Here you'll need to create a new project. If you don't have any projects yet, you'll see a big blue button that's going to say create new project. And you just go and create a project. And press create. What this API key is going to do is to let you display the time and the duration of the videos. So now you're done. And now we go to a library. And here you search for YouTube Data API. And here you will see a message saying to use this API, you may need credentials. And you go to get credentials. Here you leave this option. In the next drop down, you choose web server and public data. Then you press this button. And then you will see your API key. What you need to do is to copy this API, go back to Elementor Editor, and here in the same message, you will see paste created key on settings page. You go there and you see a field where you need to paste this API key. You press save. And once your API key is saved, you're now able to paste the videos and see the duration of the videos on your playlist. Now let's go ahead and add a couple videos to our playlist and then have a look at the styling options that you've got. If you want to add a custom title, you can type it in in the title field, but if you want the widget to pull the title out from YouTube, you simply leave it as blank. Here we go. And now in the settings tab, you can tweak the look of your playlist, like the height, the thumbnail orientation, like so. So your playlist can be of two different types. You can also choose the position of the list. Here's the option to change the heading text, the heading icon, enable or disable the counter, the counter suffix. You can also hide the number and the status of the video. The status meaning that when the video is playing, you're going to see this little icon. And show item duration. This is what we needed the API key for. And here are the responsive options if you want to hide certain elements on tablets and mobile devices. Now let's go ahead and have a look at the styling options for the video playlist widget. So the canvas background is the background of your playlist. And let's just make it gray like so. Then let's increase border radius to 5. You can also increase the heading padding and you can change the color 
of the heading icon, the size as well, and the padding for the icon. Then there are some settings for the heading title. You can change the color and the typography of the heading and the counter. Like so, we can also change the thumbnail styles. So pretty much here are all the basic settings that you usually have when styling the modules. In the thumbnail numbers and status icons tab, you can change the look of the numeration of the videos and of the status icon. Like if you want to increase the gap between the thumbnail and the number of the video, you can do it using the right margin. You can also tweak the look of the numbers and icons on normal, hover, and active. And here we can change these scroll bar styles. Like so. Let's update and have a look at the preview. So here it is. Now you know how to create a video playlist with the help of JetBlog plugin. If you like the video, leave a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.